Hey guys, Adrenaline Chunky here. Thanks for joining us on another video. I'm just heading over to my buddy Sam's place and we are going to do some redneck shenanigans. We are gonna do some burnouts and we are gonna do a burnout till the tires explode on the Razor because it's time for some new tires. No, we're not gonna destroy these Brave and Berserkers, but we're gonna destroy a stock set of Maxxis Bighorns because that's all they're good for. So yeah, anyway, got the sacrificial tires here, the Bighorns. Got a set of brand new 32 inch BFG KM3s. Oh yeah. Those are what's going on the Razor now on the new MSA lock two wheels. 15s. Oh yeah. So those are gonna go on the Razor. The Razor is loaded up. It's on the race trailer actually. It's not on the Razor trailer. I got it on the drift car slash race car trailer because it was already hooked up to my truck and it fits good. So uh, and it looks good on here too. So I didn't feel like pulling my other trailer out, moving stuff out of the way. If this baby's already hooked up and good to go, I'm just going to Sam's place. He's about 35 minutes away from me. So we're gonna head on over there and we'll pick up once we get there. Hey guys, just made it to Sam's place. Unloading the new wheels. Yeah. MSA lock two is 15. Got the Razor in tow on the race trailer. Say hi, Sam. What's up? Sam's a Can-Am guy that owns a Polaris Razor. But he offsets it with a bunch of Can-Ams. Look at this shop, though. Heck yeah. We got the 2012, is it? Yeah. 900 XP on four inch portals with a five inch high lifter bracket lift. Super ATV. What size tires are these? 37s, 37s baby. 22 inch MSAs. 22s, 22s. Look at that. Holy cow. This thing's a beast. I got him carrying my rims. I don't, I don't know why he's doing all that hard work. You're giving me beer and you're carrying my stuff. I don't know why. What do we got here? Not my quad. Not his quad. And uh, it's a 16 Outlander. 16 Audi. Yamaha Grizzly? Yeah, another friend of mine. What's this thing? 2020 Defender XMR. Holy cow. What about this piece? A 16 Outlander XMR. On what? 33 inch. I left your outlock please. What's this thing, Moto Havocs? What size are they? Uh, 32 inch Moto Havocs, and they're both on MSA Twists, 18s. And then you got a Honda Rubicon. Dude, uh, you don't buddy, discriminate. Another buddy squad. Whose is this? Uh, Max Rock from Life Outdoors. Oh, damn, shout out. Yeah, yeah. He hooks you up with all the Everything. goodies, all Everything. the goodies. Built by Life Outdoors. Yeah, man. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you do. Smaller local shop, you gotta support local, right? You got a lot going on here, man. I don't know, it's usually a lot more empty when all my buddy squads are in here. This thing's a beast, though. Yeah. I kind of may have had some influence in here, so like, because of this Polaris, he's had to offset it with a bunch of Can-Ams, right? Yes. So like, obviously I'm gonna say, when you own this many Can-Ams, you need a reliable vehicle to get you out on the trail. I'm just playing. You know I love them all. Yeah, this thing's sweet. Hasn't broke yet, so. Yeah, it's awesome. There's only 66 kilometers on the Defender. This thing's a beast. Look at this thing. It's virgin. Yeah, what a beast. We'll have to get some more in-depth videos here. Look at this, you don't waste any time though. This guy can't keep anything stock for like, he's not even driving it and he's modifying it. Two months. Two months, 66 kilometers. But, Did the wheels. got wheels. S3 two inch lift. Oh, it's lifted, cool. Yeah. Uh, Super ATV half windshield, OEM doors, OEM roof, Super ATV rear windshield, rock lights, OMD shifter. These rims look awesome on it. And they look awesome on the quad. Yeah, I know they're on both, but I just like the way, the way they look. This so is awesome. like your pride and joy, right? Yes. 
This is like the real deal. That's that's his number one. Filthy. You consider that filthy? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa, sweet! I haven't seen this yet. The Lucky Seven rack. The back rack. That looks awesome. Yeah. Wild boar foot boar, uh, foot. Floorboards, yeah. Floorboards. Super ATV offset, front arms, two inch wheel spacers, uh, RJWC headlights, RJWC bumper caps, Lucky 7 uh, rack. It's got the Warrior risers, Seiko steering stem, RJWC tuner, RJ exhaust. Oh, it's got a Yoshi on it. Yoshi, and I have the RJ for it. Oh. Did you have the RJ last time I saw you? Yeah. Yeah, so you put yeah. a Yoshi on it now? It came with a Yoshi on it. Yeah. And then I took the Yoshi off to put the RJ on, and then the packing and the RJ went. So you threw the Yoshi on in between? Yeah, exactly. So, and then it's got a QSC RevX primary, and that's STM secondary. What's done to the Razor then? 2012? 2012, 37 inch Super ATVs on 22 inch MSA wheels. Four inch Gen 3 portals with a 30% gear reduction. High lifter forward offset high clearance arms. Super ATV 5 inch lift. Uh, it's got Super ATV tie rod ends. Demon power steering kit. Custom grille. Homemade front bumper. Lucky 7 headlights. Super ATV front windshield. Super ATV doors. Super ATV roof. Got a bazooka 24 inch sound bar in it with a five and a half inch chop roof. Those, those seats don't look uh, no, I think 900 XP like spec. 16? 16, 16, 1000? Yeah, yeah. 1000. Um, the snorkels look good too. Yeah, we just homemade those. I like how you color matched your rigid. Thank you. And then it's got Rhino 2.0 axles all the way around, high lifter, high clearance, radius rods. Clutch kit, a couple other little things like airbox seals and so on and so forth. Which is a huge thing to do in this era machine. Yes. The airboxes in these were far from sealed from the factory. It's only got two snorkels on it because I didn't snorkel the exhaust because it's my wife's and she doesn't need to go that high. <laughs> and then I did the uh, adrenaline junkie rear light mod on the roof. Oh, we're gonna call it the Adrenaline Junkie roof lights, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like them, they're cool. Yeah, I yeah. like them too, I like them too. What the heck is it? Dude, you don't see this very often. That's Max's, it's a 2020 Rubicon. And Max, uh, does he own Life Outdoors? Or he no, works he, there? Just, he just works there. Works there, yeah. Yeah. So uh, he hustles a lot of parts and they got really lots, good deals. Lots, lots. So what is this thing? 2020 Rubicon, I think it's a 520 on 32-inch Moto Havocs and MSA wheels with four-inch Super ATV portals. I think it's a 30% reduction. Might be a 15. I'm not sure, but that's as far as I know. It's the only one in Canada on portals. All the brackets are custom from some guy in the states. Snorkeled. I, lo you, I love it. The typical single Honda snorkel. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Life is easy. Two inch bar riser, two inch custom bar risers actually from my Outlander. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think they're rocks risers. And wild boar floorboards. And other than that, stock, super capable. And it works really well, eh? Yeah. Does the belt ever slip? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it doesn't have a belt. <laughs> <laughs> it's five speed? Speed yeah, and it's a, a manual shift, like a shift on the column here, right? Uh, on the floor. Oh, it's on the like floor? Like school, yeah. Oh, like it's a, actual, like, like yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got that Honda reliability. Look at that. Is that a drive shaft? <laughs> yep. 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 Why well, change something that's good, right? And I mean, that's why these have always been such amazing mud bikes, because the CVT arguably in a lot of cases is just the Achilles heel well, yeah, of a lot of these machines. Yeah, for sure. Especially when you start slapping massive tires on it, getting heavier machines like these side-by-sides. The CVTs work really good in a lot of cases, but everything's a trade-off and they definitely have some flaws. Yes. Um, they've done a good job 
improving how well the CVTs function and the belt life and stuff like that. But when you're hard on them, you still gotta get used to changing belt. Yeah. yeah. Unless you do like aftermarket clutches where it just is so much more grip on the yeah. belt that it doesn't have as much of a chance to slip. But it's also incredibly expensive modification, right? Yes. So that's kind of where I am right now. I'm gonna, we're gonna slap those 32 inch BFGs on my machine on the 15 inch wheels. And I'm telling you like just lifting that wheel and, and, and just lifting that tire up, I'm already pushing the limit where like me and me and Sam were talking in my videos, you can see that the machine's struggling, crawling sometimes where it's almost ready to slip belt on the Bravens, the thirties that measured to like a 31. So as soon as I put those other tires on, I feel they're going to measure more to like around a 33. It's going to have to be clutch. So I'm going to have to look into some clutching. I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to do yet. So drop me a comment below and let me know what you'd suggest on my 2017 Razor Turbo for a good clutch setup. Um, I know there's a lot of options out there as far as like going aftermarket clutches or just clutch kits, stuff like that. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing for like mixed trail riding and stuff like that. You guys know what kind of trails I ride. So kind of leave me a comment below or maybe shoot me a suggestion. But um, yeah, we're, thanks for the shop tour, man. You're very welcome. Do you want to go over this thing in a little bit more detail? Because I know there's a lot of guys out here who want to hear about this. This thing's brand spanking. The 2020, other than the stuff that I said that I've done, I've got the 2021, head, or 2021 accent lights, I guess you could call it. Flip those babies on, man. They come on with them. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do the, the mod where... You put them on a switch so they can become like a key on daytime running light. You could even do them. I mean, you could even probably wire them up to be like a turn signal. Good, good, yeah. good. Since this is the party bus, I mean, hey, that might be an option. Rumor has it, rumor has it that there's some new legislation, some new changes coming in, in Ontario that may potentially make it easier to legalize certain vehicles on the street like this because there's been a lot of argument coming out of people saying like, hey, if a smart car is legal, if a slingshot's legal, if a 1960 fiberglass VW who knows what dune buggy thingy is legal, how the heck are one of these not street legal-ish, let's say, like they don't have to, you don't need to take it on the 400 series, no, no, but no. being able to cruise it down downtown and, and, and you know, grab a coffee, like, you know, like, come on. Yeah. I just, I don't believe in our government that they're actually going to make it easy though. They're just going to find a way to give us tickets. Oh, anyways. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Or there'll be some crazy fee. But there's a lot of states now that you'll see more and more of these things are becoming street legal. And I get it. You need turn signals. I get it. You need a horn. You need a Mirrors license and, plate light, yeah, stuff like yeah. that. But like, that's a minor detail, right? Yeah. That's a couple hundred dollars for the mod. If the e-bikes are allowed to cruise down the freaking street. Yep. It's just silly. Yep. What it's done to this uh, Yamaha, do you know? That I don't know much. Wheels, tires. Wheels, tires. Probably not much, actually. Snorkels, right? I think it's got a clutch kit. The handlebar riser. Yeah, I think it's got a tune and it's got a custom <coughs> exhaust on it. Other than that, I don't know much about it. And this is the partner of the this Honda, Max's, right? Max's wife. That's yeah. Max's wife's machine, yeah. 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 And then this thing's just in for a little bit of work because uh, Sam's a little bit of a Can-Am guru. Because when you work on can ams you gotta be. <laughs> and Razor. I just, like, I just read the manual. They all freaking break. Oh, They're right. all junk. Yep. They're all junk. Yep. As soon as you buy this, the whole point of this is for everything to break on it so you buy more things. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You've already proven to the manufacturer that you have twenty to $50,000 of disposable income, plus the haul setup, the truck, the trailer. Put it that way, it sounds bad. They're just like, dude, he's already spent 90 grand. He'll spend another 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so true though. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's the shop tour. Let's, uh, let's get these MSAs. These are bead locks. So we're going to get these taken apart. Um, we're going to show you guys how to mount a bead lock wheel really quick, really easy. We'll get the new tires mounted up and we got a little treat for you. Me and Sam are going to go bumper to bumper and we're going to burn off some old tires till they explode. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Don't With a quick mod Don't first. be shy. Sam's camera shy, but he doesn't seem like it. I'm not that camera shy. No. Oh, yeah, dude. This guy's running Can-Am wheels on his Polaris. Like, whatever, whatever. I mean, he's outnumbered. I mean, there is a Honda. There is a Yamaha. You can't say he discriminates. I got two. Uh, well, I have a Honda, too. Oh, yeah. You got the, the four tracks, yeah. right? No, yeah. I got the it's a 400X. So oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, two-wheel yeah, two drive. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not against Honda. I actually, I'd, I'd love to get some video. You know what? We're gonna go out with these guys because they're more into the mudding than I am. 
my machine is just not really cut out for that. So we'll use my machine as a film rig, but I really want to get some content of this guy. And I really want to see that Honda in action, man. That thing probably super, screams. Super capable. Yeah, it's super capable. It'd be awesome to see that thing because you don't get a lot of those out here. Not in our area. No. Down south in the States, there's a lot more of a Honda following. Yeah. But out here, like people probably look at that thing, they're like, what the hell? So yeah, check out the next videos because we're going to mount those wheels and we're going to do some burnouts. So uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. And we'll see you in the next one. And uh, if you want to follow Sam, hit him up. Bad Company ATV on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok, man, I ain't even got that stuff. Thanks again for checking out the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got a lot of cool content coming your way. There'll be a lot more off-roading and shop videos coming, as well as some other mixed motorsports madness. We've got some drift racing footage coming your way, and we'll be dropping our first drift race video coming up in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you give it a chance and check it out. We'll see you in the next video. Ride safe.